Alrighty, hello there ladies and gentlemen, Simony in here, and today we're going to be exploring the new new and improved nuclear missile silos. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to explore this whole entire thing here. So first things first, we have our little silo door right here. Well that's gonna spoil a lot. Let's let's open that later, okay? Alrighty, so anyway we have a little little shed here. It kinda looks like a little lean to. Then stone slabs, asbestos. Hmm. You definitely get lung cancer if you stay here, and a bunch of crowded barrels. And we have uh, the goalkeeper twin Methuselah, or yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> this one just just auto automatically functions. Yeah, yeah. So unfortunately, if you want to stay there, you're if you want. To live here, you'd have to get rid of that, because it will target you and make your existence not fun. Anyway, over here we have a bunch of pipes and stuff, which is pretty nice. They come up from the silo, along with some stuff in here. Almost a full set of power armor. Yeah, you just need the boots, and you'd have a full set of power armor in there. Along with some radioactive ores. Alright, anyway, we're going to go in here now. Alright, we have multiple levels in here, so we're going to start off easy with the first level, which is level blue. We have a bunch of computers and tape recorders and stuff in here. IBM personal computer. And CRT screens. It's pretty a lot going on here. Beautiful, look at that. And over here we have our uh, sentry gun, which looks like it's kind of broken. No doubt, I feel like this would attack us if we were in survival. Anyway, we have a bunch of cabinets and stuff. We have coffee in here. It's pretty nice. We've got a lot of loot. We got ball caps, paper, and some Twinkies. Which is pretty nice to have. Love Twinkies. Over here we have a, like a bigger like observatory. Another quarter um <laughs> quarter. IBM computer. We have a bunch of levers and stuff. I don't know if any of these actually work, so I mean, I probably shouldn't be playing with them. Right. Oh! Oh no! They are in fact... They are in fact functional. <laughs> okay, I just... Okay, well. There's another one. So those actually do function. <laughs> so I probably should not have been playing with those. I don't think it's fueled up, which is good, because if it was fueled up, that'd be problematic. Anyway, also, we have more stuff in here. We got extra spare parts and all that jazz. Another filing cabinet. I don't know if I missed that or not. Here we have another IBM computer. And a bobblehead. Yeah. That guy. I trust that can't be, um... A safe that cannot be unlocked unless we have a count, uh, counterfeiting key. Or key imitation kit. We're going to grab two of these because I think we actually need more than one. Alright, so I know we're going to open that. It's got two guns in here and 11 advanced circuits. Uh, as you see, Methuselah or whatever is actually functioning. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for the blue layer then. Now we're going to go down here to the red layer. This layer here consists of... Well, I guess you would say a bunk area. There is a lot of mines in here, so just be careful. A lot of anti-personnel mines. So anyway, we have a lot of stuff in here. I think the loot in here is randomized. So we have a damn stylist jacket. Which is pretty nice. Some fame... Um, some Flim Flam Industries band brand in... Oh, lordy, I'm not Englishing today. Some Siggies, we'll just say that, lordy. Got a pumpkin bomb, got a repair kit. Got Vault 13 can, casual sweater, conspiracy theories, political top topics. All that fun stuff in here. These are like your bunk area. Bunk beds and stuff. And over here we have more explosives, of course. Another one. 
So yeah, I don't know how to defuse the anti-personnel mines, but it <laughs> probably should do that. Anyway, this is like your community area where you like watch TV and stuff and eat dinner. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. I like this area. Got a broken toaster in here, which is not very ideal. And the last room we have here is the washroom and stuff. This is the only room in the facility that doesn't have something exploding besides the blue level. This would look so nice if it had some lights in here. Oh, that's right. We could put lights in here because we have the uh, we have new lights in the HP Nuclear Tech mod now. Anyway, we're going to go down to our next level here, which is the yellow layer. Right, I'm pretty sure this yellow layer here is like for storage and stuff. Alright, we have a first storage room with our uh, conserved crates. We have three of those in a store metal crate. We also have crude barrels. Over here we have more stuff in here, more crates. We have a spare missile in Ah, we have spare missiles in here, like high explosive missiles and all that fun stuff. Okay, another conserve crate, an unlocked safe, so you can actually open that without needing a key, which is pretty nice. And a spare IBM computer. And over here we have a radio and a bunch of wood planks. I've not seen... Okay, there's nothing under there. Yeah, that's that. We also got a broken toaster. Again. We have an anvil. We have a bunch of glassware and stuff, and blowtorches and all that fun stuff, and a screwdriver. If you feel like, you know, fixing things. Well, I think we were already in here. So anyway, that's it for the yellow level. And now we're going to go to our next level here. Which I think is the... Okay, this is the bottom level then. Hmm. So that was the red level. Or that was the yellow level. And then we had the red level. I thought we had a green level. Interesting. Maybe not. Oh yes, you know what? That was the green level. I just simply wasn't paying attention. This is the green level right here, which has which hosts our uh, fuel delivery pipes right here. There is, an ex there is a couple explosives in this room, so just be careful when you enter. There's at least two of those anti-personnel mines in here. We have um, kerosene barrels. We have about five... yeah, five of those. Our fuel flow gauge pipe. We have our liquid oxygen barrels in here. It's pretty nice. And we got two more rooms with similar things here. Another anti-personnel mine, of course, because God has forsaken us. We have a power gauge here. And this little uh, reactor kind of looking thing here. So that's pretty cool. And over here, we have another room that has a bunch of pipes and stuff. This is like your capacitors and stuff. I'm assuming this is like a battery backup kind of thing actually. Pretty nice. We could retrofit so much of this stuff to actually be able to launch missiles and stuff. That would be pretty A tier. Like with a multi-fuel delivery system so you could have like multiple barrels with different fuel types in there. Anyway, that's the green layer. Next, Last but not least, we have the bottom layer here before we actually go into the pit. This area has a somewhat hidden area, which is the black zone here. This, of course, has another freaking anti-personnel mine. And it has two safes, one on each side. One of these doesn't open, so that's why we have the key imitation kit. And this just opens the silo launch key, which I don't think has a purpose yet, but I am actually not certain on that. So anyway, that's that, and also we have a radioactive barrel, some radioactive fuel here, looks like. And that is pretty much it for that zone right there. And then we're going to go to the very bottom of this. We have the launch pad itself, which looks very rusted. Okay, let's see here. We're looking for the original launch pad. 
I wonder if it's just, yeah, it's just called that in the freaking config too, or yeah. So here's the original launch pad, you know, it looks really nice. Very nice. This actually is a different, has a different UI, which is pretty neat. So this is that, and it also needs a little, it looks like a little card thing. So I'm going to see if we can go find that, which I assume would be in the first layer. I don't think we missed any layers, as far as I'm aware. You know, honestly, the, this part of the silo is the most, like, well-put-together part of it. Uh, no, that's not what I mean. Like, it's the most, like... Like, there's the least amount broken in here. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, so I'm assuming that little card thing might be in one of these drawers up here or something. No, because it wouldn't be in there, because I already opened that. Yeah, so that's that. It means there must be, there might be another hidden uh, card thing somewhere. It would just be like him to do that. But hidden somewhere. Yeah, but it wouldn't be in here. I have no idea what all this does, honestly, so. I have no idea what a telex machine actually is. That sounds like some 1940s kind of tomfoolery. Book quill. More books and stuff. I'm trying to find this thick and key thing. Gotta be one of these things. I probably missed it and I just simply don't remember. Okay, yeah, because that goes to the outside, so it wouldn't be there. This. Maybe there's a hidden. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. So, like, I don't think it's gonna launch unless we have that key card thing. Let's see if it's actually called a key card. Huh. I am not getting anything for that either. And some rules and items. Yeah, maybe we'll look in items. This is got this has gone into a whole entire level of tomfoolery here. A lot of new items. I swear to god, if we don't have that one item that I'm looking for, I'm just gonna not be happy. It kinda looks like that, but I know for a fact it's not that. Sources and parts. I probably should have looked in here first. So that's technically speaking a part. Hmm. Oh, we got silo code pieces. And then, like, okay, so we collect them. This is like the Fallout, like. 76, like, launch keys then. So I collect these pieces, I think, for mobs and stuff. Okay, let's see here. I think then you craft them together. Yeah, so it takes nine of, or eight of these plus a basic circuit, and it puts that into this. All right, so that's what that's for. So that's why we didn't find that in here, because we actually have to craft it ourselves. All right, so then take that and put that in there, and it's the correct code, so therefore it would be ready to launch, which means now we get our target designator. The question is, is it going to open automatically? Wait, did that open automatically when I did that? Or did I simply forget to close it? That I'm not really sure. That's weird. Maybe one of those levers we hit earlier actually opened it. Okay, see, it opened again. So that means it opens automatically when that you put that in there. Unless... Okay, we're certainly experimenting here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
when maybe the lever is causing it to be open. So we hit one of those RAM levers, right? I think it's sending a redstone signal. That makes sense, because you'd be launching it from in here. I have no idea which lever it is. Yeah, that's So it's this one. So that opens up the silo hatch door then. That's crazy. Now it's closed. Very interesting. That is pretty freaking neat, actually. I don't think this needs any fuel. Alright, so. So I think that one opens up the door to get ready to be launched. Alright, we're going to blow up this village here. That is pretty, that is pretty in doubt. We already had one of those. That is such an ADHD moment, lordy. Okay, we're just going to clear our inventory of all of this. Look at that, we have a broken lamp thing here. We're gonna take we're gonna take this village out off the map entirely. It's not even a good village. It's like there's like five freaking things in the village. Not like not even five buildings in there. Alright, so now we're gonna go back down. We're gonna close this up. Because I actually wanna open it normally. We go down here. I think we have to actually go to the bottom of this. I really have to figure out what that telex thing does. Alright, so we got that. And now... <laughs> Why, this is exciting. So now, we open, we turn that on, which opens it up. Wait a couple seconds. Hit that. And then it launches. Oh lordy. It launched. Yes. The fact that it doesn't auto automatically close though is a little problematic. It actually worked though. That's pretty crazy. I guess, I don't know. Would it need to automatically close? Probably not realistically. Realistically, I'm just a, like a big like nerd, so it's like, yeah, we should have our missile silo clones automatically. Well, I guess if you were actually in the silo, you could just simply do that and close. But since I had to go outside and see the action, yeah, that's why I didn't. Okay, everything's falling apart now. I guess that makes sense. I there's one thing I did want to see though, like it said locked in launch position. So. Oh, you know what? Since there's no missile in there. Alright, now we're going to see what happens when you release missile. Oh. Just puts it in there. Oh. You know, for some reason I thought it would just like, like tilt and lean into the tower. That makes sense, I guess. So it might actually be reloadable then. This is very confusing because that seems like a different kind of missile than that. It looks different even. This one looks like it's been patched up. Interesting. Now it's a nice and safe nuclear missile silo. Till we retrofit it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.